Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. I am a little bit nasally today. I have not been feeling very good, but I definitely wanted to film this video for you guys and get it up as soon as possible. Today's video is going to be my March favorites. I haven't done a favorites video since my disappointing products in the beginning of the year. I think that was in February and my favorite products of 2016 video, which again, I think was in the beginning of February. So we're going to be doing quite a long video. I'm trying not to make it like an hour long, but I have a feeling it's going to be quite long just because I do have so many products that I've been loving in the month of March and probably the end of February-ish. So I wanted to encompass all of that in this video today. If you'd like to see what my favorites are, just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is the brush that I got from TJ Maxx. I talked about this in my underrated products video. Again, I'll leave all of the links up in the cards above. And this one is from True Beauty. It's number 109 and it looks like this. It is a full brush head. It is a pretty good dupe for one of the Artiste brushes. I got this on a whim. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I tried it out and I have fallen in love. I've been using it like crazy. And again, it's really nice and soft. It pushes the product around really nicely. It doesn't pick up too much product and it leaves you with a very airbrushed finish. My only problem, because it is cheaply made, is it comes apart. So what I'm gonna do is try to glue this back together and salvage this brush, or I might just go to TJ Maxx and pick up another one. This one works really, really well, and I've fallen in love with it, and I might splurge on the Makeup Revolution ones because they look really, really good, and there's a huge set of them, so I might buy those. But this guy has been awesome this last month, and I've been loving this brush, so definitely if you're at TJ Maxx and you see True Beauty number 109 pick it up just be very careful with it since we're talking about face brushes I thought we could talk about some skincare as well some things I've been loving lately this last month has been <clears throat> pardon me I'm so sorry you guys I'm just not feeling good at all after this I'm gonna take a shower and go back to bed so the product I've been using lately is a toner after you wash your face this is Mira's clarifying toner and it eliminates oil and impurities with a cooling and refreshing skin effect and it looks like this. I love this stuff. I did get this from work and I like this after I cleanse my skin. I use this to kind of cool down everything and calm my skin down after I've used my Clarisonic or whatever I'm using. But this stuff is great. This is from Murad and I would recommend this to anybody. It does control shine so if you are a little bit more shiny in your t-zone this is great. I've noticed a lot of different in my skin so definitely highly recommend this and I love the cooling feature on this guy too. So the next thing that I have been loving in the month of March is my Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Foaming Mask. It comes in a bottle like this. I love this so much. It does have a pump top and when you do pump it out, I'll go ahead and show you here, and you rub it around your skin a little bit, it immediately starts to foam up. It's so great because it just gives you that bubbly, tingly sensation on your skin. It's really wonderful. It having a very nice citrusy smell, so it's not overly citrusy, but it does have a little bit of a smell to it. It's kind of refreshing and clean. I like it after I wash my face and take off all my makeup and then use my Clarisonic. I will go ahead and use this guy and then go back in after I've washed off the mask and put my Murad on. It just works really well together and I do have oily skin so it kind of subsides some of that and it works really really well on all skin types so I would highly highly recommend this guy. And the last skin product I've been loving in the month of March is my Murad Eye Lifting Treatment and it comes with little iPad guys. This stuff works so well. I love this in the morning. I'll splash some water on my face, do a couple of pumps um, underneath the eyes and just kind of dab it in, put one of the little pads on top and let it just do its thing for about 10 minutes while I'm fixing my hair or getting dressed or whatever. And then I'll go ahead and peel those off. They're so nice because it just firms all of this underneath here. It gives it a nice radiant look. It looks like you're awake and just vibrant and I don't know it just works really really well it does kind of firm up any sagginess that we might have and just gives you more of a vibrant look. I definitely have been using this like crazy and this is again the Murad Professional Eye Lift. So something I've been using in the month of March because I was feeling very 
fair <laughs> this last month and I wanted to change that and what I've been using is the bronzing mousse from Saint Tropez. This one is a self tan mousse. What I like to do is I'll hop in the shower, shave my legs, get myself exfoliated, get myself ready, towel dry my body and then I will go in with this and I will put this on one of those mitts that they give you and I'll put this all over my body and then I'll go to bed. I let it go ahead and soak in overnight. It does not stain my sheets. It does not stain my clothes. And then in the morning I will get in and just rinse off. I really love this stuff. It's been fantastic for me lately. And honestly, I don't know what I would do without it because I feel like I've got a nice healthy glow without being orange because a lot of the times these kinds of products can make you orange. And especially if you're fair, those are the kind of tones that your skin picks up. This one does not make me look like that. It just looks very healthy and very bronze. And this one is, I believe, the fair to light skin and they do have a medium to dark skin. So just watch what you're buying when you buy it, but I love this one because I can wear it overnight. So some other things that I've been loving in the month of March, there is something that I received as a gift from a friend during my birthday in the very beginning of the month. This is the Instant Brush Cleaner from Swispers. It looks like this. My friend Phil bought this for me and she's so sweet because she knows that I do videos and this cleans my brushes in between so if I'm using any kind of eyeshadow brush and I want to wipe it off I can use it on here. Uh, I wouldn't use foundation brushes but definitely eye brushes on here and it will take off everything without having to get them wet. This is so great and it's so nice to be able to just kind of wipe it off and then go back in with a different color, especially if you're wanting to use the same brush. Again, I will link all of the products in the description box for you, but this one is fantastic. I love it and I've been using it like crazy. But let's go ahead and get into some makeup that I've been loving this last month. The first one is from Carity Cosmetics and this one is the Highlighting First Collection Palette. It looks like this. I did talk about this in my top five highlighter palettes. Again, I will link it in the cards above, but this is one of my favorites. The first edition is definitely my favorite. It's more of a pinky undertone and it's got some gorgeous colors. It does look like the glow kits from Anastasia, absolutely, but they are very creamy. I do, but they are just a little different. The formula I feel like is a little bit more creamy. They're not so glittery and you can really build them up to give yourself just a gorgeous, gorgeous glow. I have this on my cheeks today and I love to mix them. They're so much fun. I love these two on my cheeks and these ones are Ravish and Lacy. I've been just diving into this guy hardcore this last month and I would highly recommend if you do not want to spend the $40 on a glow kit that this is a great alternative at $25 and they sometimes have discounts and sales and things like that. So highly recommend this and again I'll put it in the description box for you. So the next highlighter I've been loving this last month and I have not talked about it on my channel but I've been wearing it off camera so much is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the Sweetest Bling and it comes in a little heart shape here and it looks like this. It's so pretty. It's got a gorgeous glow to it. It's very natural and it doesn't have that glittery chunky look on your skin. Obviously with a lot of highlighters they do show texture. I find that this one does not show so much of the texture in your skin as some of the others. This one is just a day-to-day -day really gorgeous glow, natural glow that's really going to give you that nice sheer wash of uh, color on your cheeks without it being so crazy and when you turn to the light you can go ahead and see how pretty it looks and it's not like this super wet look but you can build it up to look like that if you want to. I've been absolutely loving this guy so much and I've been wearing it a lot off camera and I probably will start wearing it more on camera just because it is in my daily rotation. In line with some drugstore products, I really have been using a lot of drugstore products lately because I swear to God they have been stepping up their game substantially and this one that I'm going to be talking about right now is the Milani Face and Eye Strobe Palette in number two Candlelight. I've been loving this lately. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got great colors. 
not only can you mix them together and use it as a highlight on your cheeks but you can actually use them individually as a like a blush topper a highlight and a blush it's just really beautiful I love it so much and number two candlelight I love the first one is more peachy and I really like that one too but I have definitely been gravitating towards this guy more so I did want to just honorably mention a couple of products that are a little bit older but I have been loving and kind of re-falling in love with and what I'm talking about is the ColourPop lippy sticks these are just three random colors that I picked out from my collection but I've been loving these liners lately I just have been using them non-stop and I feel like they're just the the product that keeps giving they really work very well you can file them down with a regular pencil sharpener and just go back in to crisp up any lines you can go in with them and then gloss on top they're just so multi-purpose and I absolutely love them and for five bucks you can't beat it the other honorable mention I would like to talk about is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Vampira. Been loving this. I've been wearing this on the weekend and for outings at night. I've been loving it and I forgot how much I love the formula. I think I wore this in a tutorial again. If I can find it or if I can remember. I believe I did it this last like week, week and a half. I'll put it in the cards above but it's so pretty because it just works really well and dries down. I forgot how much I love this formula. And the last thing I want to talk about you guys is the brand new Tarte Man Eater eyeshadow palette. And I love this packaging. I absolutely love it. I did a tutorial on testing out new products and it worked really well but there is like a crazy amount of kick up with these but the pigmentation is beautiful it's what I have on my eyes today I just love this palette it's so great for travel it's all-encompassing everything you could ever need is in this palette I just absolutely have fallen in love with it and I do have the sex kitten one on its way so I will definitely be doing a review tutorial and talking about that in a haul that's coming up. I love this palette so, so much. The pigmentation is great and it does smell like cocoa. Yeah, it does have like a vanilla cocoa smell to it. So they are trying to encompass the smell like Too Faced is, which I don't really mind too much because it's not overwhelming and I don't smell it even if it is on my eyes. But this guy is just absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy to have it in my collection and I've been using the bejesus out of it. You probably can't see that, but it's really nice and dusty and it's been loved. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the bell for notifications of upcoming videos. I do have so much coming up in the future. I've got haul videos, product reviews, dupe videos, so much stuff coming, so don't miss out. Go ahead and follow me on social media on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. All the links will be in the description box. But if you'd like to watch other videos, I will link them in the description box and the cards up above. If you'd like to see a certain tutorial or review or something on one of these products, please let me know in the comments below. I love your guys' feedback. And I will see you guys in the next video. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.